Did you enjoy yourself at the dance last night? Oh, yes, I had a wonderful time, except that I got very wet on the way home. What let me drive you home? Oh, no, I'd rather get wet than kill. <laughs> I'll have your key to the safe, please. The key. You'd better give it to him. All right, now out here on the floor. Come on, come on. On the floor. Face down. Hands above the head. What on earth? Fill it. Pounds and fibers only. That's enough. All right, out here. On the floor, face down, hands above the head. Make up your own minds who's going to turn around first. Lady, you don't suppose I had time to count it. Police, there's been a robbery. This is the South London Bank, Stewart Street branch. No, no, I can't possibly get involved in that now. No, I can't. Pass it on to Chief Inspector Johnson, will you? Right. Oh, come in, Adams. Any word yet, sir? No, nothing yet. Well, he certainly had a nice day for it. Yes. Gold? He's here, sir. Okay. Bring him in. He's obviously got away with it. Mr. Leighton, sir. I'm glad to see you, Leighton. How'd everything go? Uh, I enjoyed it. This is Detective Inspector Adams, your contact. Yeah, how do you do? Make arrangements to keep in touch with each other. From now on, he's your only link with the yard. Ah. Very nice. Pity the bank's only lending it to us. Adams, ring up Lord Shamford, Chairman, South London Bank. Tell him everything went very well from my point of view. Fix up a lunch between him and the assistant commissioner. I'll see to it, sir. I'll try to join them myself if I possibly can. Oh. And these ought not to go into circulation. We'll take care of them ourselves for a while. I'll put them in a sealed packet in the commissioner's safe, sir. Well, heaven help us if this story ever gets out. And that reminds me. No contact with the newspapers. Let them pick up the story in the usual way. I should have headlined it. Daring one-man robbery. Crooks read the newspapers like anybody else. Now, you got your background straight? Yeah, name's Steve Ross. Been in England a couple of weeks, first time since the war. Been operating out of Tangiers. Mainly gun running for the FLN. Used to work with Doug Brewer. Tangiers authorities are cooperating. Is there a Steve Ross? There was. What's happened to him? He was shot three months ago by the police at sea. The body was never recovered. Charming. And Doug Brewer? He's inside, doing a stretch for manslaughter. He's promised to cooperate if we try to get his sentence reduced. He'll say you worked for him in the old days. Now, any problems? No. Remember, Leighton, we've taken a great deal of trouble to get this thing set up. Don't take any unnecessary risks. It's not your job to tackle the underworld single-handed. What we want from you is information as to exactly how these large-scale bank and jewel robberies are organized, and by whom. You'll get it. It isn't going to be easy. This new type criminal is an unknown quantity. He's daring, highly organized, prepared to be violent if necessary. He's even got a few brains. A damn sight more than the old type professional. And worst of all, from our point of view, he's got no record. He doesn't stay in crime long enough to be identified. 
He pulls a few big jobs and gets out. Who picks him? Who organizes him? Who trains him? And that's what we've got to find out. You've got to get inside one of these large-scale outfits. And when you do, I want to know everything about them. Where they live, how they relax, what they have for breakfast, their IQs, their fears. Know your enemy, eh? Exactly. And then we can put him inside. I don't think Leighton should pass up any chances of giving us leads on particular crimes, sir. No, it's not worth it. This is a long-term project, Adams. The moment Leighton moves out, we can move in. We can pick up anybody he names without any risk. I don't want Leighton making mistakes to help you solve some tubna hefty crime. I can't afford to make mistakes. That's right, you can't. And when you're in the sewers, you've got to think and act like a criminal. That's the only way you'll survive. With the background we've given you, it shouldn't be too difficult to get accepted. Hang around in the usual spots, get known, and don't hurry. Take your time. Think of yourself as a research student doing a survey of crime from the inside. Or the 50-50 chance of getting killed. Mm. In the meantime, some expenses. And you better take a couple of hundred of these. Better have some of the proceeds of the robbery on you. Right, is that all? That's all for the time being. I'll be staying at the Fenwich Hotel. Don't try to get in touch with me. If I need you, I'll contact you. Good luck. Best of luck. A research worker, eh? Well, I can't help wishing he was one of our men, sir. Impossible. A regular plain man wouldn't last a week. We had to bring in somebody from outside. Yes, but he's late in the right man. He's got a good record with MI5. I was lucky to get him seconded to us. Yes, I know, sir. It's just something about his manner. Mm, he's a typical lone wolf. Tough, resourceful, independent. And he doesn't look like a copper. That's why I picked him. Yes, as you say, sir. It's not really the man you're bothered about, is it, Adams? Well, you know my view, sir. We've got the finest police force in the world. We shouldn't have to resort to these cloak and dagger tactics to do our job. I haven't got time for your pangs of conscience now. We're fighting a war. I'll use every trick in the book. And a few that aren't in the book, sir. Yes, if you like. In a way. Leighton's only a pathfinder. If he pulls this off, it could be the start of a pretty big cleanup. And if he fails? We'll use other methods. What about Leighton? Leighton will be dead. <laughs> 